Hello and welcome to another edition of Pelham School District Today. Today we have some eighth graders, Lucas and Isabel, with us uh, to talk to us about the DC trip and then of course we have Mr. Godreau who um, coordinates that trip for a number of years and we're thrilled to have each of you with us today and so you can share with us a little bit about um, your trip. So the Memorial School is going this May, right? You depart on May 2nd and um, you'll return, I think it's on um, the 5th. Yes. So you're yes. there for about five days. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the trip um, and what students can expect? Sure. Um, you know, every year I think the trip takes on a little bit of a different, uh, a different form. And this year, where we actually stop in Philadelphia on the way down, so it, which is which is nice because we spend so much of our time in class on that period of time and the fight for independence, and it really is a good focus there. And I think that um, you know we we go onto the big city and and uh, you know see all the major sites and. It's, uh, it's an exciting time. We try to work in some fun, but at the same time, it's a good chance for everything that we've been learning about and confined to those four walls. Now we're out and about and interacting with the world, and it's a, it's a, it's a great trip. So. so this trip's been a kind of a long-standing tradition. Um, so, and it, it kind of serves as a rite of passage. What are you looking forward to about this trip? You know, I, I think every year it, it's just a great opportunity to engage with students in a different way um, and, and to expose them to some, to some things that, you know, they might not have the opportunity to do otherwise. And, uh, and it is. It's, it's kind of cool because now we're in a situation where, you know, parents and, uh, have, had, have gone on the trip themselves and we have their, you know, their kids coming on the trip. So, and it changes a little bit every year and, and which is neat. And there's just a, a, maybe a little different twist this year. We're going to Philadelphia. And, um, so I think that, you know, every year that it's never the same, which is part of the reason that after multiple years of, of myself doing this, it still keeps it interesting for me. So it's exciting to go. We were just talking before the, the cameras started rolling about, um, how a number of school districts do this trip, and we actually felt bad for those kids that live in the districts that don't do the trip. <laughs> um, you know, from a parent perspective, when you talk about rite of passage, I can tell you I've had two kids go on the trip, um, and they come back very different. Yes. There is a huge jump in maturity from the time they get on that bus to the time they come off of that bus. So be prepared. <laughs> it's going to be thrilling you're not going to notice it but your parents are and in my in my experience and in, in the experience of most of the people that I talk to it's a very positive mm -hmm. change um, yeah. so it, it's kind of like that you've been in middle school and now you come back and you're gonna be high schoolers and and you start to even act a little bit more mature and, and you have a little bit more independence it's a great opportunity to, to kind of be on your own um, so this year you'll be making stop in Philadelphia, like you said, before you go to Washington, D.C., and you kind of told us a little bit about why that's important. Can you guys tell me a little bit about what were you doing in class that, why would you want to go to Philadelphia? Well, we've been learning a lot about the Declaration of Independence, and we've gone over just pretty much everything that it stands for and why it was so important to so many different, like, different people, and um, we've learned a lot about the American Revolution which all kind of took place there. So I'm going to ask each of you, what's one place that you're really looking forward to visiting when you get there, either Philadelphia or D.C.? Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to checking out, like, what, uh, like uh, Mount Vernon, where George Washington used to live, and all those different places where just, like, major events have happened all in that area. That's kind of what I'm looking Mount forward to. Mount Vernon is beautiful. I hope it's a good day when <laughs> yeah. you go because it yeah. looks right over the Potomac and... Uh. I uh, for Mount me, Vernon. I definitely say going to the Holocaust Memorial and seeing everything like that because in English class, like we've read Boy in the Striped Pajamas, and I read another book that we're doing a book report on right now, all about World War II. And I think just going there and really seeing it, like for myself, I don't know, it just means a lot to a lot of different people. And I feel like it will just be something really beneficial for everybody to go to. Yeah, I think what's so exciting about the D.C. trip is it's kind of like everything that you've learned this year comes alive. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why it is such a, a, an amazing experience and why we continue to support that as a school district because it enhances that mm -hmm. learning experience that you've had throughout the year. Um, so what have you been doing in school to prepare for the trip? 
this year? Uh, we've been doing different things about what you're going to expect to see, what you're going to be expected to do, and with all those knowledge, you know what you're looking at instead of having to read through everything. Just the Earth Cam really helped, just looking at the entire city, where you need to go, and so mm -hmm. you don't need to just like ask questions everywhere, but you know everything you need to know while you get there. Okay. Have you had to do fundraising? Things uh, like that? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, we did uh, pie sales to help fundraise for okay. yeah, DC. So it can be a little pricey to go, but there's mm -hmm. ways to, mm -hmm. to raise money so that anybody can go. And we also do have scholarships yes. that um, we can offer to people. So there, there really isn't a reason for anybody not to go. No, and the, the, we've worked with EF Tours the last uh, um, four or five years now. And they're a great, they're a big company, but they're, uh, um, they're a local company. They have a great uh, operation in Boston. Uh, operating in you know, a base and and they're they're a worldwide company as well so they're, they're you know safety is a huge priority but they're they're awesome to work with and they've, they've really made given us a lot of different options for the kids so what are some things that that you think about when you think of how you've prepared to go I feel like I I feel like we've done enough in school that I'm not like before going into eighth grade I was like oh my gosh it's, we're going to DC like that's so nerve-wracking but now like the nerves are kind of over with because we already know we already know who we're staying with in our rooms and like that was one of my main concerns and that's all like taken care of so roommate selections always the drama time yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like everything now is just looking forward to it and there's no more nerves about it good that's great yeah roommate selection can always <laughs> yeah. be a, yeah. uh, yes, uh, always, drama uh, filled and work yeah. with everybody to make it right and, uh, <laughs> yep and, and at home, there's many discussions and yes. trying to yeah. figure Absolutely. out how it's going to work. I had two girls, so <laughs> um, it's always a little more trauma-filled. I don't want to be prejudiced or anything, but I guess I can say that being a female myself. So um, we had many, many conversations about how we were going to, mm -hmm. to, to manage that, regardless of who ended up in our room. And um, it, it's interesting, my, my daughters both made some... Um, some friends that they probably didn't expect to be friends with, either because they were on the bus with them or um, because they had rooms right next to somebody or something like that. And they ended up becoming really good friends with some people that um, they wouldn't have prior to. So um, great experience. So since the school trip, um, describe, it, it is a school trip, so describe the academic responsibilities both before and after. So, you know, it, this has evolved tremendously since we've started this. I, I um, you know, it's crazy to look back at what used to be done and all this, and that's where some of the stories get in trouble because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what we've done in the class is, has really come full circle. So what some people might expect they're going to do, and I've had kids, kids still expect to do a certain thing, and we just don't do it that way anymore. Um, and so this year, technology is the key. Even some of the stuff we've already done in class, we haven't really, we kind of almost have like a little boot camp the week before we go mm -hmm. to go over expectations and, you know, kind of survey. But we've used things like Google Maps this year, Earth Camp, mm -hmm. to try to give the kids, and Isabel mentioned that, an idea. You know, I, I, I kind of joke, I'm like, this is, you're not going to get lost 101. Just so, but I think it's good. good. You're going to a big city, you have an idea of the layout. It's not a, a complete foreign and, and, uh, territory, and I think that seeing, using that te technology has been great. And this year we're working with all the subjects to create an assessment where um, we're almost looking at like a digital uh digital scrapbook, um, something that they can go and they're collecting and they're, they're bringing something back. It's not just, you know, they're going to go and, uh, you know, they're going to learn, but they're, they, they have a mission. They're going with a purpose. Uh, and then there's a number of different things that we've already started to incorporate in the classroom this year that I think they'll be able to kind of pull it all together. And, and we're working with all teachers. We have, um, you know, the core teachers. We have uh, unified arts teachers. You know, we've already started meeting about this, and uh, everybody's really excited. So I'm excited to, um, you know, I think they're wondering probably, oh, what is what is he going to throw our way? <laughs> but I'm excited about it, and hopefully they can... Realize it's I can't wait to see the digital so, scrapbooks because yeah. you all do come back to um, the school board and present yes. on your trip. So maybe we'll be able to see Absolutely. some of those. That Absolutely. would be great. Um, and just for people listening, it's not like we just go to D.C. and set them loose into the city. No. They're with no. a, uh, yeah, we a have tour a, guide. Our, our, uh, our structure for, for safety and uh, tracking is very good. Um, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, from, from a, the bus to the smaller group, and multiple tour guides, and the company provides multiple tour guides. Um, you have five, six people that are on top of all of our chaperones that are there facilitating everything. So, 
you know, for for the, safety is a huge priority, but also it's there's a structure in place that makes it easy for everybody. Right. So. So. In conjunction with this trip, we also have started something where we partner with uh, Pelham VFW, and they're coming Friday, April 14th. So why don't you tell me a little bit about that? What's that look like? Why do we do that? How does it relate to this trip? Yeah, I always, I've, I've already labeled it to the kids as, as the most meaningful day of the year. Mm -hmm. um, for us, it's, again, taking the trip and giving it a purpose, giving the students a mission. So it's it's one thing to go and visit these sites, but, but we want them to go down and visit these sites with a message in mind. And so the veterans are, are great and they've been so good about it. They come with the message, they explain to the students what these places mean to them, their experiences. And then our students go down there and they have a little bit of a different tone and a little bit of a, of a, of a different feeling when they're visiting World War II Memorial, when they're visiting Vietnam, because they know they've heard from the veterans in their town that have had those experiences. And I think it means a lot more. We spend time, uh, students spend time locating local veterans, uh, Pelham uh, veterans on the, the Vietnam Wall. We do rubbing, rubbings of, of those veterans' names and, and usually there's some type of, at the end of the year, we'll present something back to the veterans for coming back right. in. So it's, it's, it's really nice to, uh, to see that and to see everybody work together and come together uh, for that purpose. So. And that started a couple of years ago. How'd that yeah. all start? Yeah, so uh, our previous principal, Mr. Secor, started that. Um, he had had the idea from a, a previous school district he worked on, and we've kind of it's kind of evolved throughout the years, and we've developed, you know, the more we work together with the veterans, the better relationship we have, and we've been able to kind of work it together, and we, we have a luncheon. We give some students an opportunity to sit with the veterans, talk, have lunch, uh, interact, and then uh, they come and speak to, to the students, and Again, it's, it's had a huge impact. Uh, last year, I can remember after they left, the impact, just seeing the students. And, and it was a nice, they're, like, they're looking at me like, wow, you were right. Yeah. Like, this, is gonna, this was unbelievable. So again, it's all about that the experience. It's just a little bit bigger than maybe the traditional classroom experience for these kids. So. I remember I actually walked into the building that day. Yep. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. And it, it's just, it's, there's this, somber respect yeah. that's going on and and that's really how you're supposed to visit these yes. war memorials is with a, a somber respect and um, and I have done these trips a number of times um, and I'm always amazed at some of the groups that come through and and don't understand oh, that yeah. um, or the tourists that come through that don't understand that and the constant trying to tell people to be quiet and and, um, and I have had reports that that is never an issue um, with our students and even more so now um, with this it, it has some true meaning um, when you go to visit one of those memorials so um, and you'll experience that at the Holocaust Museum as well yeah. so it's really kind of quiet and um, but so moving forward what lies ahead in the next month before the trip so we like I said we're, we're going to be doing um, you know before we go we really want to make sure it's clear to everybody, students' expectations. Uh, we kind of we kind of walk through and, and run through the places we're going to be visiting. We we run through the itinerary with them because again, it's and it's an opportunity for them to ask questions. There's so many questions, and I know I, I, you guys probably have a million of them right now. And um, it gives everybody an opportunity to just put stuff out there, learn from each other. Uh, again, just get familiar so that we're not focus when we get there we already have that comfort level when we get there and I think um, certainly the veterans visit we'll have a couple parent meetings to discuss with the parents um, the, the procedure go over finalized itinerary packing all that good stuff what to bring and uh, then we'll be off May 2nd <laughs> we'll be off and running so uh, we're excited it's not that far away no that's for sure so how are you guys gonna prepare in the next month I feel like I'm just not going to let myself get nervous because I have like a big issue with getting stressed out and I, I know that I don't need to be because everything is going to be taken care of. It is. Like everybody is going to have a chance to ask the questions that they need to ask and everything is just going to be settled. So I'm not going to get stressed out. That's my big thing. <laughs> Good for you. What about you, yeah. Lucas? You seem stressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really get stressed that easily because um, I have an older brother, and I always ask him about the trip, and he just says the same thing. He's just like, uh, it's what you expect. It's fun, but it's just like, it's not that stressful. It's just a regular trip, and just take it that way. And I'm just not really worried about it. Yeah, both my older brothers went, and they really had a good time. So. Good. And like I said, I think that's that's when what you've been doing in the classroom really comes yeah. alive, and it's it's a great experience, and it's a great experience to go with your 
peers. Definitely. And um, be able to, to go away for a couple yeah, days definitely. and come back and, and, and then you've got your eye on the prize at that point because you've got another <laughs> month and then you're going. So, um, well, good luck in your preparations. Thank Have a you. great time. Learn as much as you possibly can. Thank you. Absorb what uh, DC has to has to offer. And um, and like uh, Mr. Gudrow says, is that it is very scripted, the itinerary, and you're going to be very busy, mm -hmm. and you'll be tired. <laughs> so when you get on the bus, take a nap. That's Absolutely. my biggest, Absolutely. biggest uh, recommendation. When you have the opportunity to sleep, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, have a great time, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Pelham School District Today.